I used to be normal. Boring, ordinary Roger McKenzie, the son of a beekeeper who barely made enough to support his son. My mother died when I was young, and my father mourned by throwing himself into his work. He neglected me, his only son, because looking at me hurt too much. The similarities between me and her would make him sick with grief. I know, because he told me when I was 18, and then asked me to move out. My fingers tap on the book in my lap as I watch the children flood from the school. When he steps from the building, I smile. The young boy, Kevin, was already famous for having a college-level understanding of calculus before graduating from elementary, and was already getting offered college scholarships. I watch as two large boys push Kevin against the wall. School life had been tough for me. I barely survived elementary, and high school only got worse. I could still feel the bruises and cuts. I would never forget how it felt to be pushed into the pavement while they took what little money my father had left me. However, high school was also when I met the <laughs> man. He showed me how to be special. He put me on the track to becoming what I am today. You're lucky I saw them start. I pulled Kevin up to his feet. The two larger students had run off as I approached. Thanks, Mr. McKenzie. See you tomorrow. I watch as he walked toward the bus stop. Tomorrow. Tomorrow will be the day that I become even more special. Sitting on the bench outside the school, I open the book titled Things That Go Bump to my page. Roger McKenzie is the only immune in constant activation. He works exclusively for that man, but chooses his own targets. Roger preys on small children that have been labeled as gifted. When he consumes the flesh of one of those special children, he obtains all of their talents for himself. Because of this, Roger is incredibly smart, athletic, and dangerous. I've read that passage ten times already, and it still hasn't gotten